Gold foiling is super hot in crafts right now. I'm Jennifer Priest, and today I'm gonna to share with you how to gold foil on felt. And later this week, I will share a tutorial on how to make this actual notebook. So what you're gonna need is a Sizzix Big Shot machine, and this is to cut shapes out of your felt, some Kunin Eco Fi felt, a pair of scissors, a stencil, an oval shaped die, and Tombow Mono Multi Glue. Now you can use a paintbrush too, that's optional. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is see if you're, kind of size out your die on your felt, and I see that I can use the die on half a sheet of felt. So I folded my felt in half, and I'm using some super sharp Westcott scissors to kind of loosely cut that felt sheet in half. Now I'm going to lay my um, felt on the die and I'm making my die sandwich here. So basically I'm gonna put my cutting pad down, the die on top face up, the felt on that, and then another cutting pad. So this is like a sandwich. You're gonna put that into your Sizzix Big Shot machine so that you can cut through the felt. Now depending on the shape that you're cutting, if it's intricate, you might need to put a shim in the, um, in the cutting pads. Now here I pulled the felt piece out from, or the, I pulled the die cut out from the piece of felt and you can see that it made strings. You always want to cut out the um, felt if it's stuck anywhere, but you can trim it with scissors just like I did here if you do happen to pull it. Our natural tendency is to pull it. Next you're gonna use your stencil and position that on the um, felt shape and then you're going to open up your Tombow Mono Multi liquid glue and you're going to open the wide end. It's a chisel end, almost think like a fat chisel marker and you can actually use this to paint on the glue onto the felt. So what you're gonna do is paint from the outside edge of the stencil inward. Um, if you went from the inside of the shape out towards the edge of the stencil, you would get some glue seepage. So this is gonna help minimize the glue seepage and you can kind of see the lines in the glue of where I um, drug it from the outside of the stencil into the middle of the image. Then you can use your uh, end of your glue to fill in the stencil image um, anywhere where you think it needs more glue. Now this glue is going to dry tacky but it's going to take a little while because it takes longer to dry on fabric and depending on the humidity in your area you might need to let this sit overnight. Um, to clean off your stencil, you're going to want to do this right away. So I'm just using some basic household cleaning wipes and I laid my wipe down. It already has some glue on it because I started cleaning. And I just put my stencil on one part of the wipe and then rub um, the other side of the stencil with the rest of the wipe. Now you can also wash it in water, but I don't have a sink very close to my studio. So I'm using a cleaning wipe and so I figured if you're doing this at a crop or something like that, just take some cleaning wipes with you and then you can easily um, clean off your stencil once you're done. Now that I've let my image dry overnight, I'm going to take a bone folder and some gold foil, this is from Clear Snap, and lay the foil on top of my image and then use the bone folder to really press the foil into the fibers. Now you can rub this with your finger, but because it's fibers, um, it's really hard to get that foil down into and touching all of the adhesive. So if you touch your finger to the bird shape and it's still sticky, that means you still have places that you can foil. So the bone folder really helps, helps to press the foil down in there. And you can see how pretty and shimmery that looks on um, the finished piece of felt. It's a really unique look and people will love it when you do this on your crafts and different projects. So I hope that you come back, hit that subscribe button so you can see the full reveal of how to actually make that journal that I made. And I will see you back here again soon.